Hello, MCU fans. Today, we're going to take a look at the question of whether or not Agatha All Along is about to create a big timeline shakeup. Depending on when the show appears in the Disney Plus timeline, it may make us have to majorly rethink some of the earlier entries. Lots to discuss, so let's dive right in and see what we can find out. Don't forget, we have a September contest running all month long. Be a subscriber, leave a comment. You could win a book or a steelbook. Best of luck. And we have a membership option with lots of cool perks, so you might check it out in case you're interested. All right, so the first thing we have to ask is, when does Agatha All Along take place? Well, one of the more recent teaser trailers gives us a big hint. Agatha asks the question, how long have I been here? Strangely enough, she's asking it while she's buck naked, but I'm sure there's a reason for that. I'm sure we'll find out on the show. But poor Herb is like, whoa, Agatha, that's, that is more than I expected to see this morning. Nonetheless, he pulls himself together and answers the question, about three years. You've been here about three years. Well, WandaVision takes place in fall of 2023, according to the timeline book, and then we know that's November because it's right after Endgame, which is in October. But when did Agatha come to Westview? That's very important. Well, we learn in WandaVision episode eight, uh, a a big hint on that because she says, oh, when I sense this place, the afterglow of so many spells cast all at once. That sure makes it sound like she didn't know or even care what Westview was until the hex was created, and then she came very soon after. Okay, so she arrives in November of 2023, and she's been there about three years. So we're talking late 2026. But what month? Do we have any hints on that? Well, the first trailer does give us a big hint, because we see Agatha looking at this corpse that may or may not be Wanda. We'll have to find out. But she grabs this tag, which is also a library card. That's pretty odd. But nonetheless, it has the date of October 13th. So that can place us in October of 2026. And it kind of makes sense. This is a Halloween-themed show. And just like Werewolf by Night, which was also placed in October, October 2025, in its case, it makes sense that Agatha All Along is in October of 2026. All right, so if we look at the last five entries, the most recent five, I should say, on the Disney Plus timeline, we can put in the months and years for each of those. And I've covered in depth uh, these uh, months and years in other videos, but I'm going to really quickly spin through these just so you know why I chose them. Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, that's easy. December 2025, because the timeline book tells us so, right? Totally makes sense. Quantumania is interesting. We do see a very clear July date on these little billboards on the left and the right of Scott during his um, book reading. So, okay, July, that's easy. Guardians is a little harder. They do not give us much, but in the post credit scene, the St. Charles Post uh, newspaper has an article there. If you zoom in, it's about a big festival to come. Well, it just so happens in St. Charles, every third full weekend in August, there is something called the Festival of the Little, the Little Hills, and it celebrates the city's founding with 350,000 people coming. Okay, that works. We'll go with August because it is in St. Charles, so this just fits perfectly. All right, how about those Secret Invasion and the Marvels? They don't give us much either. However, the first episode of Secret Invasion is said that the attack, you remember the big bombing, is on Unity Day. And that's Unity Day in Russia. That's a day of national celebration, and it's always on November 4th. Okay, that works. And then we do see some uh, leaves falling off trees, which that could very well be a November time frame. Of course, I don't really know how the weather works in Russia, if whether it's colder and maybe they fall earlier. But sure, that could indicate November. So, okay, that's why we have November for Secret Invasion and the Marvels comes right after it. Okay, great. Well, then with Agatha all along being in October of 2026, pretty easy, right? It's going to go right in there and we're done. Nothing more to talk about. Well, unless, unless they put it over here because we know how Marvel loves to put stuff at the end of the timeline. And is that better? I'm going to throw out, yeah, it is better, because number one, that's going to push uh, both Secret Invasion and the Marvels back a bit. And the Marvels I'm putting still in September because we know that she's in school, and we'll see that in a minute. But do we like September better? Here's why I think we do. First of all, in Secret Invasion, this weather does not look like November. I mean, there's one yellow tree. Maybe the leaves are starting to turn, but those others look very, very green. Likewise, in the Marvels, this does not look like November. Green tree, and then literally a dude in a short sleeve shirt having a picnic in a park with green trees. So, yeah, the the weather just does not work in November, but it does work for an August-September time frame. But a bigger problem is Secret Invasion is supposed to be before the 2026 election because, remember, you have Fury basically telling Ritson, hey, that's a real one-term president stuff when Ritson did that declaration of killing all the aliens on the planet. Remember that whole thing? Well, here's the problem. 
in 2026, the election will be held on Tuesday, November 3rd. And remember, Unity Day is always on November 4th, so that puts it on Wednesday, November 4th. That means the election has already occurred in 2026 before Fury is saying this to Ritson. Now, I realize Marvel could go, oh, well, the election is later in the MCU. And that's fine. If they do that, that's fine. But here's the thing. If, instead, this episode is happening back in September, then it's well before the November election. So, yeah, just another reason why I would really, really like for this to occur in September instead of November. And remember, we do see in Captain America Brave New World, which I'm assuming is going to be after um, Secret Invasion and after the Marvels, it could be, by the way, I did do a theory video where it's in 2024. You might check that one out. It's kind of interesting. But assuming that it's afterwards, then sure enough, we do see Ross has beaten Ritson, right? They said lose the mustache or lose the election. Here we see him celebrating uh, his inauguration, presumably. And in fact, Marvel on Marvel.com does tell us that, yes, Ross is the newly elected president. So, okay, that does work. We know that Ritson loses, but I still like a bigger gap between when Fury is telling him off, you know. But here's the biggest issue. In the Marvels, which is in September 2025, according to their timeline book, Kamala is 16. And we also learn she's a junior. Okay, so she's a junior, and she's 16 in September 2025. Then in November, if it's in November, November 2026, she's in school. Okay, that works. And she's still in high school because they joke about, you know, if you don't save her from falling and going splat, she's not going to graduate from high school. But unfortunately, notice she lists her age as 16. Oof. She cannot still be 16 in November 2026 if she was also 16 in September of 2025. That does not work. And the director even said, hey, she's 16. So it's confirmed in in an interview as well as in the movie. But if we move back to September for the Marvels, it just barely works. I mean, as long as her birthday is late September and this is the beginning of her school year, it works. So yeah, here are all the reasons I think this is better. The weather fits better. It makes Fury's comment uh, basically now two months before the election instead of one day. And Kamala's age actually works out. So I like this. Are there any issues? Well, you may be remembering what I said just a minute ago in the video, and that's Unity Day. Doesn't this then make this no longer work? Because Unity Day, remember, was November 4th. So, you know, uh, Marvel doesn't know when it is, obviously. Well, Marvel has had a lot of problems with with cultural events where they just decide we're going to use them even if it's not on the right day. Now, I'm going to give them credit because they initially had Shang-Chi in the wrong month. Uh, It was in July, but they moved it to the April time frame, which is when the Qingming Festival occurs. So that one worked. But remember, Far From Home has the Prague Festival of Lights. That actually occurs in October time frame, but they had it in July. And then uh, the big one, the really confusing one, was the Eid celebration in Miss Marvel. That should have been in kind of a March-April time frame, and instead it was in September. So my point is, Marvel likes to include cultural events without any regard for when they actually occur in the real world. So that means Unity Day in the MCU might not be in November. Okay, so here's the question I have for you. Two questions. When do you think Agatha All Along is going to take place? And where do you think it's going to land? Do you think it's in October of 2026? And do you think it's going to be after the Marvels? Or is it going to be before Secret Invasion? So I will throw out my vote. I'll throw out my theory here. I'm going to say it's at the end. I think they will fix this mess with Kamala's age. They will, you know, basically ignore when Unity Day really is. And Agatha All Along will be in October 2026 and push back Secret Invasion and the Marvels. At least that is my hope. So I want to know your thoughts, though. You know that I read and respond to everything. Tell me when do you think it's going to occur and where will it fall in the timeline? And we're going to know the answer in just a few days. Cannot wait for this series to start. So don't forget, September contest, be a subscriber, leave a comment, win a book or a steelbook. And there's that membership option in case you're interested in that. And then I always like to mention the Discord. Here we are actually talking about that particular teaser trailer uh, where Agatha shows up uh, in her birthday suit. (laughs) So thank you, Missile, for letting us all know about that. And we're talking about the three years later and all of that. So 1,700 members on the Discord, um, folks all across the globe, conversations 24-7, and we would like for you to be a part of them. I will leave a pinned comment so you can join the Discord. And uh, please come out and be part of the conversation. Also, if you don't mind, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out more content, and we'll all continue to enjoy the ever-growing, the ever-changing Marvel Cinematic Universe.